Okay, the bag of the day is my new Chanel Mini 22 in the cobalt blue color from 23B. And let's go with the Manolo heels. This blue would go so perfectly with my Mini 22. I'll show you my outfit quickly. I'll be wearing this blue dress and these Chanel pearl earrings and the Chanel belt from 23X, I think. <laughs> the CC on the end. Just want to show you, I did end up upgrading my phone to the Apple 15 Pro Max. So this is the large size and I got this in the natural color, which I thought is pretty nice because it's more of a light gray rather than taupe. <laughs> so I am a big fan of this color. The only thing I've realized is the foam overheats really easily. I don't know if you guys have this problem with your 15 Pro Max phones as well, but the hand feel actually is really nice because they've rounded the edges so it doesn't feel as sharp in your hand. So I do really like that. And also the weight, it is definitely lighter. So yeah, I don't feel like my hands constantly doing a workout holding up my phone. <laughs> so that is a plus. I'll keep testing out the camera. So today will be the first vlog I'm filming with the new iPhone. So we'll see how it goes. And you guys can let me know how the footage turns out. Let's get dressed and we'll head over to Chanel to check out the new collection. Hi guys! Today we're going to go Chanel for the launch of Chanel 23K which is the full winter collection. My SA said hey. there won't be a lot of stock so we'll see what's available and I'll take you guys with me. I really want to have a look at the tweed bag and also uh, of course everyone's going crazy about the Kelly bag. I'm not sure if I'm the biggest fan of that bag so personally I wouldn't be buying that one but it will still be nice to see that bag in person. Maybe it will look a lot nicer in person and I'll change my mind. So <laughs> we will see. But given how hot that bag is, it's probably not going to be available or it'll be sold out by all the VIPs. Um, I do want to look at the camellia bags. We'll see if there's any pearl crunch. I'll try my hardest not to buy another pink bag. We'll see how I go. Let's pack my bag. This is from 23P. Beautiful baby blue, my keys, and I have been loving this Dior lip gloss. Can you see all the micro shimmer? I will leave this one linked down below because I think you guys will love it. It is so sparkly, right? Now I've got my Chanel earrings. We'll check the sunnies as well. So these are the ones I unboxed in my last video. <laughs> so pretty. Today is fairly cold, so I will need these inserts. The Chanel ones <laughs> my SA kindly gave to me. So you just have to cut them to size. It's perfect when your shoes are a little bit big. These are the 70 millimeter hangisis. They are super comfortable. And I think they go super nicely with my dress. <laughs> so here is my complete look. If you guys like this dress, I will link it in the description box for you. I do have Lindy's pearls on there. I think the pearl handle is so pretty. Adds a really nice detail. Let me know if you guys prefer the bag with or without the pearls. Are you guys excited? Let's go shopping! Everything goes white I can feel the breeze Euphoric delight Only you and me Boy, Let's have a quick look at the window displays How many of you remember this look from the show? The ostrich feathers are very out there they do have the black and white tweed mini and also the pink wallet on chain. What do you guys think of this camellia print? Personally, I think it's a little bit busy. Would love to hear your thoughts. Here's the tweed classic flap. You can never go wrong with black and white. 
such a classic combination. The Mini 22 is back again this season. You can see the pink one hanging in the window. The pale pink this season is super gorgeous. You guys can see the camellia shoes. It has little crystals in the middle. Can you guys see? This is definitely one of the dreamiest coats I have ever seen. It is black and white cashmere with camellia flowers all over. I had to look up the price because I was very curious. And as you can see, it is very expensive. For you black handbag lovers out there, this one might be a good option because it has so black hardware, which is a bit more rare. And this shiny crumpled calf skin does look quite durable. Wow, look at how gorgeous these camellia buttons look. It costs the same as the camellia coat. <laughs> Which one would you go for if you had $23,000? Ah, they have the 31 La Rouge lipsticks here. The case is made of glass and is inspired by the mirrors on the staircase of the 31 Rue Cambon store. There are 12 shades, I believe. I rarely use lipsticks, otherwise this would be a great one to collect. Here is the black and white tweed mini up close. What do you guys think about this one? I feel like the squares, they are maybe a little bit too small. If the spacing were further apart, I think the bag would look a lot better. But that is just my personal opinion. Ah, not sure why they don't have the prices on the tags anymore. See what I mean about the squares being quite small? <laughs> so it looks a little bit more busy, I think. Are there two black and white tweed designs? Because I swear I saw one where the spacing were a lot further apart. And that's the one I preferred. This is the cocoa handle in the small size. This pink is really beautiful. Right? Yeah. I, when I saw the color palette for this collection, uh, it's, it's all the right tones of pink. The, yeah. <laughs> This is the slightly darker pink and then you have the lighter pink which you can see under here. This season the cocoa handle is back with the plain handle which I definitely prefer. There seem to be three different shades of pink. So you have the very light baby pink which is on the left hand side and then this more mid-tone pink on the right and then the third pink is this more corally brighter pink. This is also the very first time that we're seeing the Mini 22 in caviar with this tone-on-tone -tone hardware. What surprised me the most is how soft and unstructured the caviar leather feels. Personally, I still prefer smooth calfskin just because of how shiny the leather finish is. The calf skin for 23K feels a lot more sturdy than 23B. So I actually do prefer this calf skin. Definitely feels more durable. Here are the two pinks side by side. Which one do you guys prefer? The hobo style is making another comeback. I think this style might be quite popular, but I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of the thick strap. There's another hobo bag, which I'll insert a picture. Definitely prefer this chain because it is just a classic chain with a slight twist and the chain goes all the way underneath the bag. So I think this one looks more special. Between the pink and the white, I do personally prefer the white color because the gold hardware really stands out on it. Let's take a quick break from all the pink bags to look at the costume jewelry. We started off with some earrings. Do you guys see anything that you like? This pair of camellia earrings definitely caught my eye. Unfortunately, they are a bit too pricey for costume jewelry. They are 1920 Australian dollars. This ring is not too bad. Unfortunately, they are two to three sizes too big for my fingers. There was also this number five ring, which I thought was pretty cool. This is 23p, I'm pretty sure, not 23k. 
How beautiful is this white caviar backpack? I'm not really a backpack person, but if you are, this one is super cute. Still seems a little bit top heavy. I'm not sure maybe if I shorten the straps, it would sit a little bit better. The backpacks now are over $10,000, which is quite a lot. <laughs> I think I still prefer the Duma backpack from last year cruise. They had this fun pistachio color. I don't think I actually showed you guys this in a vlog because I ran out of time to edit that video. As you can see, this one sits a lot better and it doesn't sort of sag downwards. So yeah, I prefer this backpack to the current one they have available. Next, let's look at the Pearl Crush Rectangular Mini. As you guys can see, the structure is so good this season. All the bags run 23k, whether that be the Square Mini or the Rectangular Mini, they all have really good solid structure, whereas in previous years, they all look a little bit, you know, like deflated and squishy. The only thing that I don't like about the Pearl Crush is when you you shorten the strap the excess chain dangles outside and it is quite long if you are wearing it on your shoulder so yeah it sort of ruins the aesthetic of the bag the pearl crush is also a bit heavier so if weight is an issue you might want to consider the wallet on chain which feels a lot lighter as the gold ball is smaller i really regret not getting this gorgeous pale gray phone holder last year. This color really spoke to me, but I was thinking for a phone holder, it was quite pricey, but now <laughs> it is not that pricey anymore. So uh, I feel like with all the Chanel price increases, even the SLGs, they're getting too expensive. This particular Pearl Crush phone holder style is back for 23K. As you can see, the price is now over $6,000. And this is just for the tweed version so the leather version would be a little bit more if you're not a fan of the pearl crush the wallet on chain does come back in the classic just normal chain this time around as well this pink with color code nr644 is definitely my favorite out of this collection there's also another version with a camellia flower on the lock this one is also quite pretty little flowers and the hardware is nice too mm, it's like black. so flat yeah very hard to come by what do you guys think of this flat bag it's the same one as the one we saw in the window display, but this one has little flowers <laughs> all over the top. This is probably not the right dress for this bag. It doesn't really stand out. And if you have a look at the strap, it gets tangled or twisted quite easily. Now let us look at the shoes. These sandals look so cute with the camellia flower and the bow detail. They also come in white. Chanel sandals are always very pricey, so my guess is these ones would be over $2,000. What do you guys think of the new sling bags for 23K? They look very elegant, right? Wish they are not patent and just normal calfskin, then they would be more comfortable. These sandals caught my eye. They didn't have this tan color in my size, so I tried on the blue, which just happened to match my mini 22. So I thought this would be a cute combination. However, they didn't really suit me. They may look better with a more casual outfit. So shopping wasn't that successful as Chanel. Everything I wanted has not come in yet. I will wait for my essay to let me know when things start arriving. We then went to Hermes and I picked up a little something. <laughs> 
after I got home, we got a call from mom saying her Chanel essay is inviting her to the ballet. I have to pretty much get ready within an hour and head over to mom's. I've actually never been to the ballet, so this is going to be very fun for us. So what should I wear? Should I wear the same thing I was wearing today or should I change into something else? <laughs> so I found these two dresses that are like a little bit more evening appropriate, I guess. But the color is very bright. I asked you guys over on Instagram stories and 71% of you voted for the dress on the I left. I might just wear the dress that I am wearing today because mom's the one that's invited. I don't want to be like too attention grabbing, if that makes sense. The pink dresses would be a little bit too much. Now, which bag do you guys think? Should I take the heart? This is from 22S. The heart bag, or should we go with the camellia clutch? This is from 21B, I think, <laughs> since it is the camellia collection at the moment. So, this might be a fitting one, or should we go with the little, <laughs> little hat box? <laughs> this is the round vanity from 22C. And then there's Chantilly. What do you guys think? Chantilly looks good with any outfit, right? I feel like I always take this bag. <laughs> so maybe I should take the Camellia. So I just have my ID, my Chanel mirror, and the tiny mini <laughs> Dior lip gloss. This is so cute and just fits. <laughs> so this bag is super tiny. So comfortable. The show is being performed no, at so the Art Centre in Melbourne. Mm -hmm. You're so wonderful. I could never shine this bright as you Even the dark they still see light Even the birds still sing at night Every word just comes out right When I'm with you, with you I feel so lucky I met you And I still can't believe that I get to see those eyes from both then tonight. I swear you must have fell from the sky. And I feel um, so lucky I met you. So magical. It is now the next morning because we got home quite late from the Chanel event. I just want to show you quickly what we got as little gifts. The ballet was on the beautiful story of Swan Lake. It is actually a sad love story. I won't go into too much detail in case you guys are not interested, but definitely a very nice show if you do like the arts and performances and things like that. Just show you what we got. I think this is a perfume. It's a 200ml bottle. Okay, let's open this up. Let's have a look. Wow. That is very gorgeous. So I love that all Chanel fragrances are in glass. This is 200 ml. It is a magnetic top. I don't think I've ever sprayed or tried this one before. So let's give it a little spray. Come on. Mm. Okay, that does smell really nice. It's hard to describe. It's a pretty rich fragrance. So maybe more of a uh, fall winter fragrance. Let's look on the Chanel website. So this one is composition. Oh, 
OK, so it draws inspiration from the excitement of opera dressing rooms with their bouquets of flowers and a quart of rose violet and iris and tonka bean. Ah, OK, so it's tonka. I guess it's fitting that they gave us this one. Very nice gift from Chanel. Thanks to mum for taking me along with her. So yes, we each got a bottle of perfume. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this little vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon in my next video. Bye!